Thank you, Karen, for inviting me to speak here today. It's my honor and pleasure to meet all of you. It's a wonder I don't get out enough, and especially on cold days like this. I'm just shivering in my skin, thinking about having to go back out. And with that in mind, I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine. <laughs> Hi, I'm yeah, 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 and they just go on and on and on and on about how wonderful their product is and how much it can make a difference in your life. But you, you just, just want to take them away and say, come out of my life. I don't need that. <laughs> so what have they done? What have they not done? They haven't built a relationship. And networking is all about building that strong relationship. If you don't trust somebody, you're not going to recommend them to someone else. And um, if you don't tell the person that they would like to talk to, say you want to talk to Andy. I want to talk to Andy, but I don't know Andy. So I'm going to ask Deb. Deb, could you introduce me to Andy? If, if Deb doesn't trust me, she's not going to talk to Andy because that would destroy her relationship with Andy because she, he's not going to trust her anymore because she introduced me, her, him to me, and I just talked his head off about nothing. But <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. But you know what? If you build that relationship, it, it just it will grow and grow and grow. Now I started my business back in businesses back in 1970s, and there was very little, it, very little opportunities for women in business back then. It was, you know, typing, filing, you know, smiling at the customers, emptying the ashtrays, or if I got really lucky, I, I could think about being a stewardess, or even better yet, a playboy bunny. <laughs> but no, I didn't want to do that. I ended up in an office. And the, the offices back then, you had your place, and you stayed in your place. So I really didn't get into entrepreneurship and um, networking until about the middle of the 80s, about when things really started changing. And a lot of that had to do with some of the changes in the, in the regulations and women were just getting more and more into businesses. And right now, you probably don't even realize it, but there are over 600,000 women who own businesses that make more than a million dollars. Wow. Isn't that incredible? Now, how do you think they did that? They built their relationships. They started out with people that they knew, and they grew, grew from there. And I'm just a little bit dry because it's dry outside. <laughs> anyway, um, that's called the trust-respect triangle, if, you have, if you've never heard of it before. You're building that trust one by one by one, and it just grows from there. And um, what else did I want to say? <laughs> I lost myself somewhere in there. That, that, the triangle, you were telling the us triangle, about the triangle. Well, yes, I had more to say about that. But, oh yeah, in, in today's age, because as Jerry put it, we're in the technology age, the information age. It used to be the six degrees of separation. You know, you could meet Kevin Bacon if you knew the right six people. Well now, because of Facebook and other social media, it's about two degrees. It's who do you know who knows so-and-so. And that can happen just like that. You can either burn a relationship or you can build a relationship. So you want to be careful. When you come to a networking meeting, it's not all about you. Just keep that in mind. Get yourself away from yourself and concentrate on that person that you're talking to. Make sure that you ask the right questions, that they feel that you have drawn them in and they want to be your friend. So, in conclusion, have a great day, and I hope it warms up. <laughs>